I'm glad you're here. And look what we've got. We have an equation with two square roots and our variable under each square root. What we're going to do? We're going to isolate each root at a time and raise both sides to the second power in order to lift up this root. Do you think you can do it? Yes, I want you to be able to do it. So let's go ahead and do it together. So the first step is to isolate the square root. If more than one, we have two. Pick which one to isolate. Okay, my eyes are on the board. Which one to isolate? This comes positive. This has like negative one times. Definitely not this one. So I'm going to isolate this, this square root and move this square root on the other side by adding it to both sides. You see, because I have like negative one here or negative square root, I'm going to add to both sides. Okay. So this will collapse to zero. I have 3x plus 4 equals 1 plus 2x plus 1. You see, I move this root to the other side with the opposite sign, basically. Okay, here we go. I'm raising both sides to the second power. Why? Because I have a square root right here. I have a square root, so I want to lift it off and extract my variable underneath. Okay, let's do it. So, uh, squaring this square root, I have 3x plus 4. Very good. On this side, I'm going to just rewrite and multiply each binomial. Some of you may recall this special product, like a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Remember those special products when you multiply um, the same binomials? But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just use the distributive property and multiply each term in the parentheses. So I have 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times the square root is the square root itself. Then I'm going to grab my square root and diligently multiply it by each term in the second parenthesis. Okay. Well, glad that we have 1s here. Something easy. 2x plus 1, the square root times the same square root will be the expression underneath, plus 2x plus 1. And you see I don't put the parentheses because I have a positive sign. Okay, what do I have? I can consolidate the square roots and I can consolidate these ones together. Okay, so on the left side I have 3x plus 4 equals 1 plus 1 will be 2. These two square roots, I'm putting them together. I will have 2, because it's like 1 times 1 times, right? 2 square root of 2x plus 1, and dragging my 2x. Okay, let's stand back and just you look and I look together. Looks good to me. Okay, let's go. So what we can do? We can subtract 2 from both sides, right? Okay. Subtracting 2 from both sides. I'm going to have more space here. Okay. Subtracting 2 from both sides, I will have 3x plus 2 because 4 minus 2. On the other side, 2 square root 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus 2x. Okay, much nice. I like it. It's less all this uh, complicated things. Okay, what do I do next? I'm subtracting 2x from both sides. This will collapse to 0 minus 2x. Okay, so 3x minus 2x is just x plus 2. And I have this 2 times the square root of 2x plus 1. Okay, much nicer. Now, let's look at our rules and see what we have. This root is isolated. It's on the right-hand side. This 2 doesn't bother me because it's just 2 times. What I'm going to do? I still have a root, so I'm going to follow the steps. I'm going to start all over again. And my root is also already isolated. I'm going to raise both sides to the second power. Okay? So it's, we're going to run all over again through all these roots. The same binomial, I'm going to just multiply by itself. Or you can use the special product. So here, don't forget about this 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And I'm going to, I'm going to, in parentheses, 
I'm going to just write my expression to make sure that I don't make mistakes. It's important to not to rush with math because it's costly to go back and look for mistake again and, oh, why did I make a mistake? It's frustrating. So it's better just to, to uh, mindfully take time and check the numbers in the beginning, in the process. So here I have x times x, x squared, x times 2 plus 2x. Grabbing this term, 2. 2 times x plus 2x, 2 times 2 plus 4. On this side, doing distributive property, 4 times 2x. Um, 4 times 2x, it will be 8x. 4 times 1 plus 4. Okay, what do I have? Oh, look guys, we have 4 on both sides. If we subtract 4, 4 this will collapse to 0. Okay, this will give me, I'm going to just rewrite it, so it's easier to see, 8x. What do we do after that? We will subtract 8x from both sides, because I see I have a square, I will have a, a quadratic equation. Okay, I want to have a quadratic equation and 0 on the other side, right? Remember when we do solve quadratic equations, we either use factoring or quadratic formula. What do I have here? x squared, 4 minus 8 minus 4x equals 0. Let's just check. x squared plus 4x, we're subtracting 8x, and this becomes 0. Nice. Much nicer now. Look, this is a quadratic equation, but I don't have a constant term. What do I have? I have x times x minus 4x equals 0. These two terms share x. I'm going to take that x out and factor it. Factor it out. So x, I will be left with x minus 4 in the parentheses. How do I know? I can check back. x times x will give me x squared. x times negative 4 will give me negative 4x. Are we on the same page? Check your work. See, the, okay, are we move, moving in the same in, in, in the same pace. If you have questions, please leave me comments. I will, I will look and I'll get back to you. Uh, math is hard already, so it's important just to step back and check. Okay, so now I have x times this parenthesis equals 0. So either x equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. One possible solution on this one, we have adding 4 to both sides. The second possible solution is x equals 4. We are following these rules. And the last one is we must check all the solutions because squaring both sides may, pre may introduce extraneous or invalid solutions. So we must check. Maybe this one won't check out. Maybe this one won't check out. Maybe both, both won't check out. I don't know. I will know only if I check. It's a pain to check wants to check. But we gotta do it. Okay. At least we have x equals 0, which is easy. So, let's go. So, grabbing 0. 3 times 0. 0, square root of 4, minus 2 times 0. 0, square root of 1. Is it 1? Square root of 4 is 2, minus 1. It is 1. True. This guy checks out. Nice. Taking 4, Substituting for x. Substituting for x. 3 times 4 plus 4 minus 2 times 4 plus 1 is it 1. 3 times 4, 12 plus 4, 16. Square root of 16 minus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1. Square root of 9 is it 1. Is it 1? Square root of 16, 4, minus square root of 9 is 4 minus 3 equals 1. True. It looks like my second solution also checks out. And these are solutions to our uh, big equation. You see, friends, sometimes we're given uh, an, an equation and our heart can sink. Oh, wow, so what are we going to do? Um, remember, it's important to follow the steps to trust this 
the steps and uh, just uh, sometimes when you can't solve a certain problem and you spend hours and hours days oh man what i'm gonna do but sometimes you just need to leave the problem alone rest from it and then come back later and look at it with fresh eyes oh wow i i see why i made the mistake sometimes you get exhausted from solving the same problem all over again Anyway, I hope this is helpful to you. And uh, keep pressing on, guys. Keep doing a good job on your math work. Keep focusing on your dreams, on your graduation from college, from high school, from whatever you're doing. I wish you success. And I will see you next time.